What's happening at Pickle for June of 2014? I'm Jim Oda. I'm Cheryl Stoffel Francis. I like to talk about June, July, and August just because they're warmer months of the year. That's true. I think July is probably my maybe August is my favorite because I don't know. it's so the I, I kind of like I like the spring. I like the it's 70s, been, 80s. Uh, the I'm not, color's been so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the weather really hasn't been so lovely. No, no, it, it really hasn't. But I, you know that. That 80 degrees, Humidity. 90 degrees, okay. uh, yeah, I'm not fond of that. But in this month, June. we got a lot of stuff going on. Yes. It's an exciting month. Uh, the YMCA Senior Center, we always talk about that. Remember, it's open during the day from 9 until 3 o'clock. It's uh, part of the YMCA's um, conglomerate of buildings right there on the corner. They're on the corner of West High, or excuse me, uh, yeah, West High Street and Downing Streets. And um, it's for seniors ages 50 and over. And they do a lot of fun things. Games, bingo, trips, food, food. food. They have computers. They just play cute. cards. They just have a great time. It's a great place to visitors, stop in informally. Oh, visitors right. and guests are welcome anytime. Stop by the YM or if you have questions, call 778-5247. Um, Monday through Saturdays during the month of July, July. during regular uh, library hours, the exhibit for June is going to highlight Rum and Temperance, the story of Prohibition in Pequa. And we heard oh. some of this program at our uh, Rotary Club, and it was quite interesting that... Uh, Jim shared some fascinating information about all the odds uh, and ends. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting. Um, it's going to also be followed by a mid-month by the impact of the automobile in our town. And, and I, I happen to share this with my um, sister, and I was thinking this to my mind when you were talking about it. But I'm going to give away something. Okay. If if you if Jim talks about it, I'm not sure. We, I'm not sure what Jim's talking about this month for our portals to pick what's past. But he he talked about the automobile, and during the winter time people would actually take apart their automobiles and put them in boxes for storage. And I thought to myself, well, we have that in our basement, car yeah. parts in storage, that we probably could assemble a car almost there in our basement go. without See? an engine. And then Jim said, which was something very, very interesting, when's the last time you've seen a new house being built without an attached garage and how our mm -hmm. houses have even changed with the introduction of the automobile. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, when you think about the automobile, you think about just transportation, but it's changed a lot in yes, our community. Yes, okay. so that would be interesting to see that. So stop by the library during the month of July and uh, see those exhibits. The Summer Reading Club will begin at the library. It's open for all ages, young and old. Mm -hmm. Pick up a calendar at any of the desks when you register and don't miss out on all all the fun. They have so much fun during the summer months here at the library. The children's department, their theme is going to be Egypt Unwrapped. Oh, I love this. They're going to be divided into family and school age groups. Uh, story time for children uh, will be available every Thursday morning from 1030 until 11. The teens and the youth department, their theme is different. It's going to be Spark a Reaction. Great, great topic. Um, I love that theme. It really gets their imagination. There will be an event, craft or movie, every Tuesday and every Thursday for the teens at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, plus additional bonus activities throughout the summer months. Uh, reading and participation, you can earn prizes. Um, there's going, there are going to be entries for an end of the season um, drawing on August the 1st. So they're going to conclude the summer reading program for the uh, teens on August the 1st and you can get some great prizes. The adult department, the theme is read it, watch it. Uh, there will be a small gift for entertaining your first reading slip while supplies last. So that's important to remember. Read quickly, bring that slip in so that um, you can receive a small gift. Attendance at the library programs earns you an extra entry. I think that's another great idea yeah, and a I'm great aspect that. that you've added. And you can select which prizes you would like to be entered for. Another good idea. Don't win something that you'll never use and right. you might throw it away. Right. So really you know, get something you that really you want. If you don't want a beach blanket, then you don't have to register for right. it. Uh, with everyone going into the grand prize drawing for a Kindle adults you can win a Kindle, so register throughout the summer months. That Kindle is going to be given away on August the 1st. 
fourth. You guys are August the fourth. Um, yep. Fourth. 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 That's, oh, I did want to say on the uh, children's department, uh, a lot of their activities are oriented. You know, they, they read and then they get they get to play games and so forth. We have had some confusion this year on um, uh, whether uh, fathers uh, were allowed uh, with this with this theme. So it isn't just mummies. It is fathers as well. That's good. Thank you for that clarification. You guys are really going to have a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> On Tuesday, June the 3rd, the Mary Quilt Makers will be at the library from 2 until 4 o'clock. Remember, they meet in the second floor in the Founders Room at the library. They share patterns, quilting techniques, and they have a lot of fun fellowship. Anyone is um, interested, um, anyone is invited great. to participate, and they welcome you. On Tuesday, June the, thir June the 3rd, and on June the 17th is going to be the Exalt the adult exploration hikes it must be a little early in the morning for me to be speaking me too. yes we're uh, <laughs> from nine until eleven o'clock in the morning it's going to take place at garbury big woods located on cast town sydney road just right off of state route 36 a walk in nature with a park naturalist remember they always have a park naturalist that will join you and they'll share some information um, about things that you see throughout right. the park as you're right. walking through uh, garbury big woods makes a great experience that way it it really does. It's not a fast-paced or strenuous walk at all, and everyone is encouraged to participate. You can call 335-6273 to register or go online to the Miami County Park District website. The Pickle City Commission meeting will take place also on Tuesday the 3rd and again on the 17th. Their meetings begin at 7.30 p.m. in the Municipal Government Complex. Remember, you are welcome to attend in person. You could watch the meeting live here on Channel 5, or you can watch any of the rebroadcasts throughout that same week, and I encourage you to check out the message board for the dates and times of that rebroadcasts. Yes, and they, you know, and they are also a leisurely stroll, and um, we're going to try to have a park naturalist at that meeting as well to kind of explain to you uh, what's going on. Oh. That'll be good. Every Wednesday in June, the Joy Club at Salvation Army at uh, South South Way, they have speakers and entertainments and a delicious lunch yes. uh, served by the Salvation Army. Uh, programs generally start at 1 o'clock on June 4th. Uh, they're going to be 11.30, uh, but they're going to leave to go out to lunch at your own expense, and then they're going to tour the Lincoln Community Center oh, in Troy, see good. what's going on there. Uh, on June 11th, the program is canine demonstration, and that'll be really a lot of fun. Yes. June 18th, program on the Pickwa Cemetery with Jim Roth. Um, on June 25th, the program is a white elephant bingo. Oh, fun. If you've never seen white elephants playing bingo, it's a hook. I mean, they try to get there, and it's fun. So you'll you'll enjoy that. So I think two. Jim's had a lot of coffee to drink he already has, this morning. Right. So, so this is going to be a fun day. Right, So and, and bring two unwrapped gifts because the, the white elephants really like gifts. <laughs> also on Wednesdays, the Pickle Kiwanis Club at the Bistro Room off of Commerce Drive, 11.30 lunch. Call Dennis to reserve your lunch, 418-8478. Uh, program starts at noon, uh, and so they, they do ask you to reserve, you know, just so they'll know how many uh, lunches are going to be done. Uh, Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to changing the world, one community and one child at a time, and they have a wide variety of programs. Yes. Also, every Thursday in June, the Pickle Community Farmer's Market is cranking up. I know. It's exciting. Beyond Canal Place, at the starts at 3.30, ends at 7.30. Uh, best in locally grown, homegrown, and baked and handmade crafts. They're going to have live music this year, which is a change. Um, they, if you want more information, uh, just Google Pickle Farmer's Market, and you'll get additional information on what's going on there lots yeah. of food and no, oh, we know Jim likes stuff. the cheese oh, we the talk cheese, about the, the cheese bread I always talk about the cinnamon rolls and the apple dumplings and the delicious bread and the delicious rolls and Catherine gets beans oh really but but like beans that she'll cook at home right okay not like already canned and everything for you no no like green you know, beans like green or beans, yeah. oh yes green yeah. beans they she have makes delicious green, green bean, beans she makes a green bean casserole oh that's good yeah that's good uh, Thursday evening, movies at the Pickwell Public Library. That's our uh, standard, 6 p.m. at the Lewis Program Room. Bring snacks, bring a friend, bring somebody you don't like, and maybe you'll make them a friend. You never know. <laughs> if you want the titles, remember we are restricted about what we can say on the air about the title because of our licensing agreement. But Kay. we hope to give you some clues. 
uh, June 5th, and this is going to start at 5.30 because it's kind of a, a long movie. Okay. It's an epic movie, Bilbo Baggins. I don't know who this is. Oh, Bilbo Baggins, you know, the little, little short people. Haven't watched, with, haven't with, seen with, this. I haven't seen it, but you know which one it is. Nope, I oh, don't. Okay. Well, he goes off on an adventure and ends up in the Dragon's Lair, and it's a 2013 film, PG-13, 161 minutes. Okay. It's the, it's the, it used to be a, you know, a long epic by an English author. Okay. You're, you got it. Okay. So, that's going to be on there, and that's a new, and it, it's one of those movies that it ends with a cliffhanger. I mean, almost literally. Really? So, oh, yeah. Okay. It's like you're going and he's, the dragon's flying out and the end it. Is this the movie that you and Catherine saw on New Year's Eve? That's a good question. I don't remember if we, we, we saw it, but I don't remember if that was the New Year's Eve movie or not. Okay. But it's a good one. It's a lot of fun. June 12th, the new release, a pregnant teenager flees her abusive mother in search of her father, only to be rejected by her father. She's forced to survive on the streets until a compassionate stranger offers a helpful alternative. And again, this is a very, you know, feel-good uh, kind of movie. PG-13, 101 minutes. On June 19th, it's Family Night. This is a 2014 movie uh, made for TV. A snowboarder takes lessons from a former champion. Inspire him to reach for the stars once again. Again, this is kind of a feel-good, make, you know, you think he's not going to do it, but in the end he does. And so this is T uh, TVG, and it's 85 minutes. On. June 26, a new release. After walking away from her past as a teenager, Private Eye returns a local hero to help an old flame who's embroiled in a murder mystery, and it's based on a TV series starring Kristen Bell. I like Kristen Bell. Yes, I She's do cute. too. Yeah, and her last name's Bell. That's right, and so Catherine, the, his it, wife's maiden name, name is Bell. Bell. So we have to, we have to like Kristen. That's Bell. good. And this is PG-13. 107 minutes. So we've got a lot of good movies there and a lot okay. of current movies. So and I haven't seen June. one of them. Well, then you're just going to have to come amazing? to movie night. That's all there is to it. But I'm going to see Million Dollar Arm. That's a movie I want to oh, see. Oh, yeah. That's that's going over to India, right? In baseball? Yes, yes. in baseball. Okay. And I also want to see, I think, unless I look at the reviews and it's maybe not good to watch, but X-Men. There's a new X-Men well, right, movie. You know me. Like, yeah, you do. We watch these fighting movies. Yeah, we I, don't watch know. these love movies, I, I guess, you know, because we just go with my husband. So yeah, she's, she's it's kinda, a husband thing. Oh, she kind of... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, she, she sprints in, does a somersault. It's amazing yes. when she comes in here. It's a yes. Crunch um, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that image is, is stuck now. Um, on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays in June, Johnston Farm and Indian Agency is open for the season. Uh, Thursday and Friday, 9 to 5. Saturday and Sunday, noon to 5. And you want more information, uh, call the farm, 773-2522. Check out their website, Johnston Farm, Ohio. And, again, you're saying, I've been there. No, you haven't. You were just there. There's a lot more to see. Mm -hmm. So there's always something more when you go out there, do the farmhouse, do the canal boat, go visit the cemetery, do the barn, do the and outbuildings. And just like you said, the new addition. Oh, to yeah, we got a great addition there. It talks some more about the uh, uh, canal history, and you can stand in the windows and watch the canal boat Which go by. Great. Really a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. On Sunday, June the 8th, there's a concert, a uh, full sound chamber group, beginning at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, this is a fabulous program. Oh, yeah. I think Please. you want to really mark your calendar. Sunday, June the 8th at 2 o'clock. It's going to be at St. Paul's. Um, church located at uh, 500 North Downing Street. Mm -hmm. It's just right on the corner. Okay, this is important. The concert features the five amazing, talented see, I can't pronounce their names. Lorchich. 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 That's good. Lorchich Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. brothers. Mm -hmm. They range in age from 16 to 26. They've been performing throughout Central Hall since 2010. Their repertoire consists mainly of Baroque, classical, classical Romantic. Okay. And hymns. Yes, they're really going to be no fun hers, to listen just to. Hymns. Just hymns. Additionally, all five brothers can play the piano, which enables them to perform music for almost any combination of strings and piano. Then they're going to have a reception that follows, so you can stay for the reception and really begin, you know, oh. chat with the, the young men. And you see, they, they are amazing. They're, so they're, talented. They're all, uh, it's a homeschooled family, and they just, uh, wow. You can tell their brothers, they kind of just sit down and suddenly 
This beautiful music, music comes out. Oh, it's they're really going to be enjoyable. It's if free. It's open it, to the public. It's right. open to anyone to attend. If you haven't heard it, it's worthwhile going. Sunday, June the 8th, St. Paul's Church, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Then on Monday, June the 9th, there is going to be an author visit. Um, the library, Ozzie Davis. He's going to be here at 7 o'clock in the evening. Oh, thank you. It's a she. It's oh, a she? interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know anybody who is a female who is named Ozzy, but I, don't know what I wonder if them. that's, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe an author name, like, you know, movie stars change their names. Pseudonyms, yes. yes. Ooh, that's exciting. Well, she will be in the Lewis program room at the library, and she will read an excerpt from her latest book, The World of Fuzzwald and Friends. Mm -hmm. um, she's also going to offer a book signing while she's here. Copies will be available for purchase, including The Activities of Frogman. And a portion of the proceeds from the series World of Fuzzball and Friends um, will be donated to the Wounded Warriors program, a fabulous program. So it it's nice me. that if you buy a book, um, part of those proceeds are going to benefit well. a real good organization. On right. Wednesday, June the 11th, you can have your blood pressure and glucose checked free of charge at the YWCA by a registered UVMC nurse from 10.15 to 11 o'clock. She will be available. And following that at the YWCA is their monthly, monthly program and luncheon. Uh, the program begins at 11 o'clock at the YW and it's going to be stories that tickle your funny bone. It's going to be presented by Molly Campbell. She's an author mm -hmm. and also a two-time Irma Bombeck award winning writer. Irma Bombeck. My mother loves Irma Bombeck. And whenever she would read one of Irma Bombeck's books, she would just laugh and laugh. She was a, and she I was think a great I have this on my calendar. I really, <clears throat> really hope my schedule enables me to go because we need to laugh. You know, laughing is good for you. You That's live true. a longer life. You're healthier if you laugh. So go to the YW at 11 o'clock on Wednesday, June the 11th, and you're going to have a good time. Then, if you want to stay for lunch, a delicious lunch is going to be served at 12 o'clock noon following that program. But they do ask you to make a reservation for your lunch by calling the YWCA no later than Monday, March, or Monday, June the 9th for that uh, June the 11th program. You can reach them by calling 773-6626. So a fun program that's going to make you laugh. Right. Uh, the Troy Miami County Bookmobile Wild Weather will be available from 2 until 4 o'clock at the Miami County Park District's Hobart Urban Nature Preserve. So it's nice that the bookmobile is going to be mm -hmm. available for books. Right. And um, the Urban Nature Preserve is located on Tyrone Boulevard, which is just off of Dorset, kind of behind McDonald's in Troy off of State Route 41. In addition to a visit uh, from the Bookmobile, participants can enjoy family-friendly activities at the park, which include games, <coughs> story time, crafts, and a walk around the preserve. All ages are welcome to attend. They ask you to register uh, for the program by contacting the Miami County Park District. Portals to pick was passed. Okay, go. I'm We're anxious to see what, hear, and read about what Jim is going to talk about. See, we try to, to tie the portals to the exhibits. exhibit that we do at the front of the lobby. Right, so, so it's going to be on Wednesday, June the 11th, 7 o'clock p.m. Jim is the presenter. It will be in the Lewis program room at the Pickle Public Library. So he tells us the women's Christian temperance movement was very active in Piqua when they began working to fight the demon run in 1874. Piqua had over two dozen bars, and after 20 years of strenuous effort, the WC. To TU group, you know, that women's group, <laughs> reported that there were 40 bars in 1894. So, so 20 years <laughs> of fighting alcohol and uh, drinking in Piqua led more men to establish more bars. Oh, his story really is funny. Stories will be shared include the history of the Fort Pickle Plaza as home of an anti-saloon rally and a place as well as the first bar to open when the prohibition was repealed. So we so, got to come yeah. to the beginning and the end there. Uh, it's gonna, like we said, Jim is going to be uh, the presenter. He is our local historian and he's going to make it fun. It really yeah. is interesting well, it, what it, I heard of it. That, the prohibition, that's a fun part. You know, you think, oh, geez, but 
A lot of yeah. very strange, unusual yeah. things happen. And when he was talking about it at Rotary Casey Hines, she was just laughing and laughing. He had a lot of the Rotarians laughing when he provided some of this information to us the other day. Of course, on the other hand, when I also said, well, now this will be my, the, the, the you know, to wrap up, they all applauded. Uh, <laughs> so that, you know, you never know. On Thursday, June 12th, the Pinterest recipe party at the YWCA, that'll start at 6. Um, and you have a recipe from Pinterest. This is the class. Yes. If you really want to do that, uh, each class member is asked to provide just one of your favorite dishes, a snack, dessert, whatever, and uh, submit your recipe for your item one week prior to class for recipe book to take home. So, so if you have a really great recipe that you right. found on Pinterest, yes, it would be great. Bring it so. to the YW. They're going to compile it into a recipe book. Right. So I haven't really made anything, I don't think, on Pinterest, from Pinterest. Haven't you? No. No, I, I've visited it once. Um, so That's the place good. settings and beverages will be provided. Class size is limited, yes. obviously. Uh, so stop at the YW uh, and call 773-6626 to register for this free class. I have a lot of Pinterest recipes saved. But, well, but you, haven't, you haven't gone that next step of doing <laughs> anything with them. them. Yeah, I make a lot of recipes that I find online but just haven't been the Pinterest recipes. I'm not quite oh. sure why. So I don't know. Oh, oh well. Nice. But I'll let you know today I brought Joe, our photographer, our film man, and Jim, pasta visual soup. You know we talk about pasta visual soup. That's a recipe I found online, there so you'll go. have to let me know. And it's sitting right over there. They celebrated their birthday earlier this week, so I bought them a birthday gift. So we're going soup. to we're gonna go s celebrate with soup. Soup celebrations. And then they'll give us a review on whether or not it's a good recipe online. All right, we'll Maybe do I that. can post it to Pinterest. I don't know how to post anything to Pinterest. Oh, it's easy. Is it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll post it to All right. Pinterest. Well, on Thursday, June 12th, and the 26th, the Yarn Circle, Sit and Stitch. They meet in the second floor of the Founders Room. It'll be a lot of, a lot of fun, seven to eight. And uh, basically just do all kind of yarn things. Yes. And it, it's, it's, it's a good group, and uh, they learn from each other, and they do projects. So. Uh, Saturday, June 14th is Flag Day, and, you know, fly your flag. Yes. Put it out there. Uh, also, June 14th, the Miami County Parks Canoe Float. Meet at Treasure Island in Troy, and we'll take a bus ride to a canoe launching point, and then take a leisurely float down the Great Miami River, ending at Treasure Island. Yes. So that'd be good. Really nice. Yeah, so and something it, else fun on so the 14th. It'll be one of those things that uh, we, we get uh, different levels of canoeists and the you know the real expert and the person that goes okay which end of the paddle goes in the water uh -huh. and that kind of thing so and keep in mind that that's the downside of course of, of canoeing is you want to start from one place and, and canoe someplace else well then how do you I get your that. transportation and you know uh, so this is a good program you uh, want to know what else is before you move on are you going to move on to another topic I might <gasps> June the 14th, we must tell you, okay. is, is like the kickoff to Piqua Rocks, the yes. big concert series oh, yes. that's going yes. to be held. And I don't and know that it's in our listing, yes, but is. I know Rockin it's on, on the, the river. Oh, he's got it. Okay. It's on the, it's on the next page. Okay. <gasps> there it is. I oh, missed yeah. it. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Okay. It's all right. Well, I'll wait until you talk about it. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's not up yet. Okay, we're still floating down the Great River. <laughs> I guess we're doing this by time. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I don't know that there is any particular uh, order here. Uh, children under 18 must be accompanied by an adult. Oh, we're it, still talking about the yeah, canoe. We're, we're still sorry. on the canoes. <laughs> we're going to finish this canoe. I'm sorry. So, so okay. the fees are non-refundable. So for more information, call 3357273 and leisurely float down the canal. Now I'm going to talk about something else. I know. And there were, there were a couple of family day on car show at Johnston Farm and the dedication of the Johnston Farm Education Center. We're going to do a little dedication That's segment. That's great. So that'll Along be with the car show. Right. Excellent. So, so that'll be noon to five. So what more information? Call the farm 773-2322. Now one more. Saturday, June 14th and the 28th. That's what threw me. Okay. So the 28th. Yeah. So it says that. So it could be both of those dates it is from two to four it is Children's Department Lego Club where you just, all you got to do is come with your imagination and put the Legos together. I we bet provide your the Legos. Lego club is going to just grow exponentially during the summer. Yeah, it does. And it, it's really a lot of fun. And we show off their Legos and kids have fun. I know. It's a all great right. program. Okay. Now, on now. Saturday, June 14th,
from 7 to 11. Be yeah. We're going to have Rockin' on the River. New event. Brand new. This is Brand one of new. four, three. 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 Three events that are going on in downtown Big at Lock 9 Park. Yes. And we're going to have live music and food and t-shirts. The reason I know t-shirts is I'm working in the t-shirt booth. Good. All right. So, uh, so a lot of really, it's going to be, it, it really is going to be a lot of fun and very enjoyable. And this is the June 14th is the kickoff for these, this series. And uh, do you remember the name of the band? I don't. I, I know part of the name of the band. Okay. Girardi. Girardi. Do you remember his first name? No, I don't. Oh, I can't remember his first name. I'm sorry. Name, this is all the information we got. I know. I know. We just heard it. We just heard it at Rotary, too. I know, I know. The we're, we're Eric fair. Girardi. Is it Eric. Eric Girardi? Could be. I don't know, but I know his last He's name good. is Girardi. Well, he's a good. He's very, very good. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot popular. of fun. Very popular. He is going to be the headline entertainer. There'll be, set, there'll be a pre-show. What do you call that when you go to a concert and they... Pre-show. Is that what it's called? A pre-show? Works There's going to be another entertainer perform before oh. the Eric Girardi or Mr. Girardi band performs. <laughs> Well, if this doesn't make you want to come, I don't know what will. But oh, it will be really, a lot of fun. Really You'll really have a great enjoy time. it. It's wow, the stuff that's going on with the city and Main Street and the Arts Council. It's really it is. It's gonna be a lot of fun and get to see using the river area, know, which we it'll haven't be so used beautiful. very much. And so it'll be, you know, sit on the banks, it'll be very informal, live music. It'll be fun. Yes. You'll really, really, really so enjoy it. So mark your this. calendar, the first one, kickoff, June the fourteenth. Right. Okay. And it's free, open it's to free. the public, bring your friends. you got to pay for the food. Yeah, and the t-shirts. And the drinks, and the t-shirts, right. but that's it. But other than that. Free. Okay. Okay, on Sunday, June the 15th is Father's Day. So, what a great event. You can bring your dad and celebrate the night right. before with right. your dad. There we go. Um, so, Sunday, don't forget your dads. Celebrate with your dads. Celebrate with... Yeah, and if you, you know, uh, if you would like um, Joe Teach. You could take Joe Teach out. Yes, he would Joe love Teach that. Joe Teach is, is, is our uh, films everything for us and so you could take Joe Teach out somewhere. And he, has, he has five to, to do that for him. Oh, but, he has you know. five kids? I did not know he had five children. And it will be wow. just, it's, it's wonderful. But you could take Joe out. So he could really enjoy himself at five different restaurants there throughout the day if his kids took him out to, to eat. Or knowing Joe Bars. Uh, now, uh, what else can you do on June 15th? You can go to the dog social. We're always talking about the dog social right. on Mother's Day or Father's Day. It right. always seems to happen. Uh, working dogs from 1 to 3 o'clock mm -hmm. in the afternoon. It's the part of the Miami County Park District. It's going to be at the Lost Creek Reserve on State Route 41 in Troy. And they say if your dog is nice and plays well with others, then right. you're welcome to participate. If not, stay home. Mm -hmm. uh, you can register for the program by contacting the Miami County Park District at 335-6273 or just Google and send them an email. Yeah. Now, now, one of the special things going on with this is a live sheep herding demonstration okay. with uh, Chris Thompson. And, and it says here, and his wonderful border collies and real sheep. Oh, wow. They're going to have real sheep. As opposed to... Fake sheep. Fake sheep. Yeah, the dog goes up to the sheep and goes, woof. And the, and, the, and the fake sheep just doesn't do anything. But here you got live sheep, and the live sheep will go bah, and move ahead or move you, around. But you know this. That will be really interesting. Oh, it I, is amazing I, to, I watch to watch a collie, them. you know, just herd get, the get, sheep. Get the sheep together. Yeah, there. It's like amazing. Yeah, on sometimes you've got to get the sheep out. Yes. You just do. Yes, on Monday, June the 16th, is the E reader class at, at 7 o'clock at the library in the Lewis program room. Uh, Michael Vomar Grone. Uh -huh. He is the director of technical services for the Shelby County Libraries. And he will be here to walk you through the checkout process for borrowing ebooks on your system. It's going to be a great program. Right. Don't forget to bring your e reader with you. So, do you have any idea how many people check out books using like an e reader or an ebook? It Do you remember that statistic yeah, or like yeah, we, the we, last year? It's, it, it was supposed to be like overwhelming and it turned out to be five or six hundred. Okay. Uh, it's going to continue to grow. Well, I think a lot of people, you know, the e-reader the e and some people are saying, but more, I'm more of a, a C kind of guy and so they don't want to do E. Oh, you're funny. I want the book. 
Yeah. And then some people do, and then some people like both. And yeah. Some people like to take them for vacations, and and but here we'll talk, talk to you about how it's done and how you can download it. Can you do it to your phone? Can you download oh, it on you your can, phone depending nowadays? Depending on if you, if you have the apps for it, sure. Okay. Yeah. You know, if you got a smartphone, you can do that. Okay. Amazing. Well, that's so, great. That's, right. I'm glad that he's going to be here. Yeah. On Tuesday, June the 17th, is the adult exploration hike beginning at 9 o'clock in the morning at Garber Big Woods on Castown Sydney Road. And you're going to take a leisure, leisurely roll, stroll, we already talked about that, through Castown, um, through Garber Big Woods on Castown Road. And on Tuesday, June the 17th, one of Jim's favorite events is the YWCA Meet Us at the Dairy Queen. Well, it's actually Catherine's. I know it because she Perfect. loves their yeah, ice she cream. Does. She, she loves does. their blizzards and she loves filling up their freezer. Right. It's from 5 until 9 o'clock at the um, Dairy Queen in Piqua. Located, you know, it's just on um, 36, State Route 36, out by Walmart mm, right. and, and Arby's. They meet the YWCA, receives some of the proceeds of all of the sales at the DQ from 5 until 9 o'clock. And uh, they do this every third Tuesday of each month. So they have a great time, and the owner really is so supportive of oh, the yeah. YW and mm -hmm. very generous because 15% of the sales goes back to the YWCA and all of the events and the programs right. that the Y offers to our community. Um, they also do what really fun activities, and, and sometimes they have special energy. Entertainment. We mm -hmm. talk about that often. So join them in this fun FUN raising activity. Right. On Thursday, June the 19th, is the book discussion beginning at 10.15 in the morning in the Founders Room on the second floor at the Pickle Public Library. And the book is going to be The Personal History of Rachel Dupree by Ann Weisgarber. Thank you. <laughs> We're a pretty good team here when it comes to authors. There we go. He's the book reader. Mm -hmm. um, an award-winning debut novel with incredible heart about life on the prairie and as it rarely has been seen. So this is going to be an mm -hmm. interesting book to read. It opens a window on the little-known history of African-American homesteaders, and it gives a voice to an extraordinary heroine who embodies the spirit that built America. Sounds like a good novel. Mm -hmm. um, you can call the library or stop by to reserve your copy. The telephone number is 773-6753, and you can join in on that book discussion on June the 19th, beginning at 1015. On Thursday, June the 19th and the 26th, we begin our Piqua Civic Band Summer Concert Series. It's great. Wow, it's so nice to be able to talk about the Summer Concert Series because then you know summer is here. Yes. Um, remember, they perform in the Hans Pavilion at Fountain Park on Thursday, June the 19th and the 27th, 26th, beginning at 7 o'clock in the evening. Concerts are free and open to the public. And the July concerts, if you want to write those down on your calendar now, um, will be on July 10th and Thursday, July 17th. So, a little history. Do you want to share a little history? Oh, sure. The, the, Elks, the, the Civic Band started out as the Elks Band in 19, excuse me, 1932, and practiced and then basically under the, the Elks Club banner. But in 1965, the band reorganized, became the Piqua Civic Band, and have been performing ever since. They, can, you can tell, when they first started out, they were pretty much uh, 20s, early 30s group, and uh, they marched in the, like the Memorial Day Parade. Uh, today, they're on a float. <laughs> but their music, wow. This is tremendous. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob Hance was the longtime yes. uh, musical director of the Civic Band, and they are one of the great uh, musical treasures of our community. In fact, of this entire area. So mm -hmm. it's worthwhile going to see. Yes, All right. that's right. Well, this is one day that we should celebrate every year. We should have some special event the first day of summer, June the 21st. That's true. Oh, summer we can is there. celebrate the first day of summer. And you know the temperature is probably going to be 70. It's a shame she doesn't like summer, isn't it? It'll probably be 70 degrees on June the 21st. Yeah, well, and raining or we'll sleeting or snowing uh -huh. or something like that. That's right. All right. But well, it is here, and then, then the next the that uh, next day on Sunday, June twenty second, a trail run, a trail run and walk, five uh, k challenge at nine a.m. Garby Big Woods. Uh, registration begins at eight. Cost is twenty five twenty dollars for pre register, twenty five for day of registration. Students fifteen dollars. 
Uh, you can register at Speedy Feet, and if you're a runner, you know what Speedy Feet is. And ten teams of uh, 10 or more are invited to participate in a team challenge. And so uh, just get out there and have a little exercise. It'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is uh, the 2014 Trail Run Challenge, uh, sponsored by Up and Running, Speedy Feet, Premier Health, Upper Valley Medical, Scott Family McDonald's, Miami County Public Health, and Browers Insurance. <sighs> All those healthy people. There we go. So more information, Google Miami County Parks. Uh, on Sunday, June 22nd, Naturalist Adventure Series Radio Flyers and Rockets. Oh, I love rockets. Oh, yeah. I love radio controlled airplanes. I love jets. I love airplanes. I love military. You could take your rockets and shoot down the planes. <gasps> Don't say that. Well, that'd be a challenge. Only if it was like a paper airplane. Okay, well.